most people are shocked when they find out that I'm a bad electrician. All right, so sorry for the secondary uh, cheesy joke there, but um, what's going on, Linear Algebra Bros? In this video, we're going to do an example where we are to classify this 3x3 three three symmetric matrix as positive definite, negative definite, or indefinite. So what we're going to do is just kind of piggyback on the uh, on one of the theorems uh, that is uh, presented uh, at the top of the page that this example comes from, section 7.3 note packet. Um, what I would like to do is just examine the eigenvalues of this matrix A to make an inference about you know which kind of matrix it is in terms of positive, negative, definite, or indefinite. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is form the matrix into I minus A. All right, by now I'm pretty sure we're hip to that. So along the main diagonal, lambda plus 3, first entry, lambda plus 3, the second entry, and then lambda plus 5, the third entry along the main diagonal. And then anything off the main diagonal gets negated. Okay. Second step is to form the characteristic equation by doing DET lambda I minus A equals zero. And what I'm going to do is expand along row three. So I'm doing cofactor expansion here. Take quantity lambda plus five, multiply it to the two by two subdeterminant matrix, which is what we have in the top row entries, lambda plus three and negative two and then negative 2 lambda plus 3 in the second row. We'll do our crisscross multiplication per usual. So we're looking at lambda plus 5 quantity being multiplied to lambda plus 3 quantity squared minus 4 equals 0 going to go ahead and expand with some brackets there and simplify at the same time. We're going to have lambda squared plus 6 lambda. That would be plus 9 minus 4, giving us plus 5 equals 0. And we're going to factor that quadratic. It's going to be lambda plus 5 times lambda plus 1 equals 0. So set each factor equal to zero to solve for lambda. One eigenvalue is negative five. Another eigenvalue is negative five. And our final eigenvalue is negative one. So for our third step, we're going to make a conclusion. Now, if you notice, all the eigenvalues here are negative. The one part of one of those theorems from above says that if all the eigenvalues are negative, then x transpose ax is negative definite, in which case we can assume that the matrix A is negative definite. All right, so I'll, I'll put it this way. Since all lambdas are negative, we'll say A is negative definite. All right, I hope this definitely made sense. If not, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.